Lovies, there she is, beautiful and sweet and colorful and soft and all of these things mixed together, oh, all of my lovely favorite things together. Uh, I don't, vintage paper just lights me up, like maybe it's the story, I don't know, but 
Um, background papers are some vintage papers that I'll have linked to. It's in one of the collage packs. These are vintage wallpapers. Oh, love them. Um, doily, paper doily. Uh, put everything down with matte medium. Used a, an interesting color palette today. I'm not sure. But I used um, cobalt teal and the sea breeze and green gold and celery green raw sienna and quinacridone magenta along with um, titanium white and carbon black. Um, all those are deco art. Um, so I just kind of played. I just, I'm longing for spring obviously. <laughs> it's still snowing here. I needed something soft and light and bright and reminding me that spring is coming and the snow is going to stop. Um, but just highlighted these vintage flowers and just doodled and played and had fun. I used, um, let's see, I used a lace stencil, which I thought was appropriate because it kind of, this kind of has a vintagey soft feel, so I thought the lace was good. And then I used doodle minis. And I used the old uh, classroom font for the embrace and old type text. And then a couple of like regular stamps, letter stamps. <clears throat> Down here, charcoal pencil and kind of doodled, dripped, used my gel pen for some marks and different things like that. Super simple and very fun and just relaxing. It just was soothing. Soothing to my soul. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? Um, so before I get into this, I just quickly want to say a couple things coming up. Um, new workshop that will be coming out in about two weeks um, called Transparent Layers, which is my passion. I go into detail about how I layer, my thought process and composition, and being able to do th layers that are see-through and transparent and oh, it's just mm, it's at the heart of what I love. So that'll be a great workshop um, coming up. And then also April 20th is a mixed media uh, YouTube hop that I am involved with about, I think there's about 15 other artists that are going to be uh, playing along in the YouTube hop. And what's really great about that, this um, mixed media YouTube hop, is that um, we have a ton of sponsors that are going to be giving away some great, great um, prizes. And each stop will have um, prizes and then each artist, uh, some are giving their own prizes away. I'll be giving away two stencils. Um, so the instruction, you'll like, you'll need to su be a subscriber and like and comment <clears throat> to enter to win. So yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great chance to see a lot of different artists that maybe you haven't actually seen. Um, check out their channel and that kind of thing. So anyway, keep that in your minds. I'll have it. I'll have all the details. Um, in the newsletter. Okay, enough of that. So this says, embrace your imperfections. Be gentle with yourself. <laughs> that is, a, it's a constant, it's a constant practice for me. Um, I know that. I know <laughs> all of my imperfections, my quirkiness, my weirdness. I know it all. Um, but when I talk about embracing your imperfections, I don't mean that we just say, well, this is how I am, you know, deal with it. I'm talking about embracing your imperfections with grace and love. So that when we know what our stuff is, and our things are, and our issues are, that we approach them with grace and love and grow in them. So for me, for example, I, I talk about this all the time, I have control issues. I have I'm very, I, I like to have everything in the box and I don't like surprises and all that kind of stuff. And I have to, I, I realize that about myself and I also realize when, you know, those, those things are all also great in some capacity as a, as, as a boss and a leader and, and having things, getting things done, I'm very reliable, that kind of thing. But it also can affect when I'm too controlling it, it can affect my creativity. It can affect my relationships. It, it, I mean, there's a lot of things. So when I talk about embracing your imperfections, 
Know who you are. Take the time to know who you are. Know how you lean, what your bents are, what your quirkiness is. And then in that, know, be aware enough to know that sometimes those things are great and sometimes those things aren't great and that we can adjust in grace and love to um, maybe not put ourselves in certain situations or have other people do things or adjust however it needs to happen and then be gentle with yourself um, that that's the other that's that grace and love piece um, <clears throat> too often we're so hard on ourselves I mean I I know I am I have to all of this is from my own experience um, but sometimes when I um, fall down in my imperfections and I just I'm, I'm too much for myself and for everybody else I'm really I the things I tell myself I would never ever tell anybody else and um, so that's coming back to that grace and imperfection or grace and love um, <clears throat> part of this that when we have embraced ourselves and there's nothing better than someone who's comfortable in their own skin and you know what I'm talking about uh, you just want to be around those people They're, they they um, know who they are uh, they're comfortable with who they are they know their um, their strengths and their limitations and they know how to gently adjust um, when when things are off and that's that that gentle love and grace part and so <clears throat> Be gentle with yourself in this process of embracing your imperfections because our society is crazy today with like being the perfect this or that or the perfect artist or mother or uh, you know gosh things things happen and we will go on and so I want you today to think about your imperfections embrace them because they're they're who that's they're who you are um, and then in love and grace, recognize when they're not helping you be your best self or, or they're um, limiting your relationships or your creativity or whatever it is. Be gentle with yourself and have the talk with yourself and adjust accordingly. And just remember that you are beautiful the way that you are. Your imperfections make you who you are. <clears throat> so this Sunday, I hope that you are able to take a look, the deep look, into your, into your soul and embrace all of the crazy, weird, quirky things about yourself um, and be gentle with yourself and love on yourself and rest and do the things that you need to do to be able to, to embrace all of that and rest and love yourself. All right, lovies, I hope your Sunday is awesome. I hope it's um, filled with grace and love, and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.